Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. A warm welcome if you're new here. I'm Selena, the interior stylist, designer and furniture finisher based in Sydney behind the channel. And on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a high-end furniture look for less. These bedsides are really well made, but the only thing that they're lacking is just a bit of personality and style. So today's video is all about how I transform these rather outdated but beautifully made bedsides into something high-end and refreshed. So if you want to see the transformation, continue watching. Bedsides like these are quite common, but unfortunately the colour just doesn't translate now to more of the modern styles and the looks that we love in our spaces. So for this piece, I'm definitely going to go for a bit of a two-tone texture. I'm going to go for a lighter whitewash top and a darker blue painted body. So it's a bit more of a bolder contrast, but I think it's going to look great and it's going to really give it that high-end luxe look. So let's start on stage one, prep work, and let's get into sanding. So first I'm starting with an 80 grit sandpaper and you want to make sure that you start on the grit that works best for your machine. In my case here 80 is the ideal to begin removing the top layer of the varnish. After I finish up on the 80 I move to 240. To make sure I'm giving a high quality sand I like to run my hand over the surface to see if I've moved any spots. Once I've finished onto this, I move on to the timber primer and I always make sure that I use this conditioner on any raw timber when I'm applying an oil stain. You can definitely skip this step if you're using a water-based stain, but if you're using oil, I would highly recommend using a timber conditioner as this is going to prevent any blotchiness or an uneven absorption of the stain into your timber. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison between the raw timber top and then the conditioned stain. So I'll let that dry overnight and enjoy this spectacular Sydney sunset. So I'll see you in the morning. Now that we have the conditioner all dried, we can move on to the last step of our prep process and that is cleaning thoroughly our bedside table. To help this cleaning process and painting for the next stage, I like to flip the bedsides on its head and it just makes it a lot easier to clean the feet and then to paint it when we move on to that next step. And now for the fun part, stage two, the colour. So here I'm using Dixie Bell's all-in-one mineral paint and this is the deep sea colour. Because this is an all-in-one paint, I don't need to apply any primer prior to painting. I've used this paint before and I find the consistency is a bit of a between chalk paint and a fusion silk paint. When I'm painting any furniture item, I like to alternate between two different size paintbrushes. I find using a smaller artist paintbrush to get into those nooks and crannies and the feet just a lot easier. You also don't waste as much paint because it is a smaller paintbrush and there's no flicking as well, which is always ideal. And then using a bigger paintbrush to apply it on the bigger surfaces. So sometimes you find the paint a little bit too thick, you can always spray it and water it down a little bit. After having applied two coats of the deep sea colour, I found that the blue was a bit too bright for my liking. So I decided to make up my own custom mix of a deeper navy and applied this chalk paint over the silk mineral paint. This is the beauty of paint and refinishing furniture. If you're not liking the colour, you can always switch it out. And that's what I did here. So whilst I let this paint dry, I'm now moving on to adding our whitewash top. So I'm using a liming white that is an oil-based stain and just applying this on with one rag and then wiping it off with another rag. And you always want to make sure that you're using gloves as you're applying this, otherwise the cleanup is not as pretty and you're using mineral spirits to clean up any stains on your hands.
here's a side by side comparison between the whitewash and the raw timber piece and you can see that it's just taken out that yellowness and it's looking really spectacular against this more navy richer color so we'll let that dry overnight and then the next morning we can move on to adding the finishing touch Hemp oil is great for conditioning the timber and it actually gives it a durable surface and is also waterproof as well. For the painted base, I'm using just some furniture wax and applying this all over. So I find that wax gives it a great richness and depth and it also just helps give it a bit more durability on the chalk painted finish. And without further ado, let's go to the reveal. What a transformation, right? This piece has gone from outdated, brown, and slightly drab into something really stylish, modern, and refreshed. I'd love to hear your thoughts about what you thought of the coloring and maybe the hardware choices. When I'm refinishing and flipping furniture, I love to add different textures and finishes to my pieces. So by using and incorporating the marble hardware, I'm adding something a bit more luxe and that's tactile and that pairs really lovely with that whitewash timber top as well. So if you want to stay tuned for more furniture flips and styling and DIY designs, then make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for the next video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.